He's jumping up and down. The captain of the Detroit Red Wings. Season on the brink. If they lose in regulation, they're done. They win it in overtime. John, not dead yet, baby. No, they're right there. It's, I mean, that they don't control their own destiny. That's the only issue, is they've dug themselves this hole, and now they need help. They need help in the form of one Washington loss. The Capitals will play tonight against the Bruins, who do need to win for seeding. And then the Capitals will play the Flyers, who are still alive as well. One Washington loss, two Red Wing wins, and playoff hockey's back in the Motor City. That's all. That's the simple formula. There's a bunch yeah. of other messy ways, but the Wings, first and foremost, need one loss, and they need to win out. They like messy, though. I know. They like real messy, because that's what this has gotten. Even Saturday. They score four unanswered goals. I'm like, this is great. Who needs bowling? I'm having a great time. Only to watch it get all the way back to a 4-4 hockey game, and I'm sweating. I was, I was driving home from... Um, from a softball game and I wanted so bad to text you. They're up 4-1. You're a bad person. And I wanted so bad to text you. And then I thought, no, you know what? I know how this is going to go. because it's And it's the same thing that I've been preaching for the past six weeks. This team is very inconsistent and you have no idea. Now, in, in, in Saturday's game, it was within the same period, but w- every time they head to the locker room and they come out, it's a completely different team. Mm-hmm. It is a different team. Now, yes, there's some adjustments that you're hoping to make and guys get rest, but but on a, on a given night, you would think that through three periods, there would be some consistent play. There's going to be ups and downs every time. I get that. But every single time as I'm watching them or listening on the radio, it feels like it's a completely different team every time they come out of the locker room. You're absolutely right. And that's what we get down to is can they be the same team on back-to-back days and win both games? Oh, can they play six periods? It's going to need to be. I know there's a world where they win one and lose the other in overtime and get in with three and the Caps only get two. But they're going to need to play six periods. They're going to need to play back-to-back games, good hockey. And I'd like to make the case that they will. Now, this, there's no locks, there's there's no flags, no props, none of that. John, I thought one of the most significant parts of Saturday was Alex Dabrinkit. Scored two goals. Yeah. He's got five points in his last two games. They put him up on the top line, and he's delivered. Larkin, names, delivering. Simon Edvinson, hey, little boost down the blue line. He scores a goal. Their goals against have gone down since he's been in the lineup. Like the guys who need to be starring Raymond the other night, the stars are starring. That's the case to do it. You're not going to get in here on the back of your third and your fourth line. They can't lose you the game, but your stars need to win you the game. And, And they did win them the game on Saturday and they get a favorable matchup against Montreal. This is the time to do it. So it's not only back-to-back days against Montreal. It's can they repeat that performance, star performance, from Saturday to Monday? And and, and will they be able to p- string three together? Now, through the course of the season, we've seen that. Streaky team, yeah. But through the course of the past, the only streaking they've done in the past six weeks is losing. Mm-hmm. There haven't really been any periods of consistently good know your backup is is back is against the wall gotta win games we talked about was it last tuesday they're playing washington Mm -hmm. gotta have it couldn't get it done at pittsburgh gotta have it couldn't get it done and now you're looking at it going and and don't don't give me the whole one point deal all that stuff we're not doing that and I understand that that they could actually end up winning by one point and we could go back and look at all of the you know, the, the one pointers that they've got. But the thing about Montreal is both times they faced them this year, both times, overtime games. One was a win. That was in December. It was a 5 4 win yeah. in OT. The first time they played them, November the 9th, way back, that was an overtime loss, 3 yeah. 2. So both in overtime. And, and this is a team, Montreal is a team that is has the fifth lowest point total in the NHL. 
this is a team that they should be able to handle on back-to-back days, home yeah. and away. Yeah, quick profile on them. Two and six in their last eight, but they beat the Flyers, who are fighting for the playoffs. And they took the Islanders to OT, who are fighting and, and likely in now in the playoffs. They're not going to be easy. They're, they're no gimmies. We've seen with this hockey team all season, the Arizona games ring a bell, right? San oh. Jose with a big day. In December, come on, there are no gimmies. So I can't come in here and tell you definitively the Red Wings are going to be in the playoffs, but I do think Washington's going to lose, and I feel like the Wings are the better team. They should win both these games. As of today, I think they're going to make the playoffs. And John, you know this. Some of this is I'm I'm willing it. I want it so badly that even at their lowest point, I've said, well, they're not out of it yet, and I, I got to stay invested. I got to stay. Some people are exhausted, and I'm not judging you. To me, it is, I can't quit this hockey team. Not yet, not now. Nor should you. Nor should you. It's it's frustrating, it's maddening, but it is a playoff chase. And if they win two, and, and here's the thing, uh, Boston obviously did us a solid uh, on... Uh, Thank you. you know, by, by beating the Penguins. Now can Boston do us a solid again by beating the, the, the Caps? And that's where you're looking at it going, okay, well, we're playing one of the fifth in terms of point total, worst teams in the NHL, and the Caps are playing the Boston Bruins, one of the best teams. 